I'm passionate about technology and it's sort of been like a slow evolution towards machine learning is the thing that makes sense to work on. So Daniel, why are you in AI today? What made you getting here today? I started off quite a while ago in 2008, actually, working on an assignment algorithm that figures out what DVDs to send to what people in the mail. Uh, it was quite a long time ago, but that operations research problem got me interested in artificial intelligence. And I bounced back from the industry to academia to industry. I did some research papers in 2011, uh, then some work on biological neural networks, uh, and then followed by my PhD in deep learning, uh, and then went back to industry to do consulting in deep learning. So it's been kind of a long evolution rather than jumping in, for example, in 2016 or 17 when things got really hot, it was more 10 years before that where things started to click. What made you really click at a certain point? It was a very slow evolution. So, I mean, chess playing algorithms and Monte Carlo search, um, you study them in university, but I didn't quite like see it and then immediately jump on it and go, this is what I have to do. I'm passionate about technology and it's sort of been like a slow evolution towards machine learning is the thing that makes sense uh, to work on. Uh, but it wasn't like an all at once realization, you know, love at first sight. I would say that's the big picture of technology, but not the small picture of artificial intelligence. And more generally, people shouldn't want to do AI as the first thing they try. Try something simple, and if it doesn't work, then machine learning.